so it is currently 8 minutes to 7 in the evening and I'm gonna try this workout commentary thing again uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be better than last time because uh, yeah last time was pathetic right yep as usual just starting starting off with some rotator cuff work just easy simple stuff lightweight many reps you know just getting warmed up getting the blood into the muscle we always want to prevent injuries as usual I mean no one wants to stop going to train because of like some stupid injury and yes my secret weapon to all of my grip strength is the chalk that I use guys honestly I have the most pathetic and most trash grip strength I've ever seen in from anyone and uh, chalk has really helped me be helped me because it increases the friction which helps with the grip so yeah that's been my secret and over here I'm just doing some barbell rows uh, I'm actually gonna start increasing the weight soon because I feel like I'm doing them a bit too easily and guys always remember you only increase the weight when you can do it with proper form so that's very very important and then here I'm going on to my bench press if you watched my last video you would have seen that I actually was pushing 75 and over here I'm doing 80 and that's because of progressive overload I finally got a little stronger and it only took me about one and a half weeks to increase the weight by five kilos so I'm really happy with that my five sets of five reps have been really really good for me so far and they're really working out for me because my chest is so so bad I think it's one of my worst body parts so I'm really trying to work on that for now and yeah that was in fast motion and I was struggling but anyways with that done we're getting to some dumbbell rows I'm doing them uh, like individually unilaterally to be more specific simply because I can work each side equally and uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna prevent muscle imbalances and it's gonna grow both of them equally and I won't have any problems when it comes to doing the heavy compound lift with the bar because I would have worked both equally and then one doesn't have to overcompensate for the other or one side doesn't have to overcompensate for the other yeah I hope you got that. I hope you understood what I'm saying but uh, yeah it's pretty easy just keep your back straight I mean the form is I don't say I, don't, I wouldn't say it's absolutely perfect here I'd say it's 97 percent perfect but yeah anyways because the other bars were taken, I had to use a Smith machine, but I could go a little heavier on this. I'm just doing a 5x5, five five, at least I think I'm doing a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, 5x5 five five of just some standard shoulder press. As you can see, I'm like put, putting my head, like sticking my head forward when I go all, forward as I go all the way up. So, and uh, yeah, it's just keeping that form steady. Make sure to flex your butt when you're doing this so it straightens your lower back. You don't want to be like a question mark when you're doing it. And here are some standard curls with the cable. I really like, I push my shoulders forward uh, just so that I can get the stretch using the cable because it's quite a small bar. And uh, yeah, I'm also doing some face pulls. Now, the thing with face pulls is I'm actually pulling it towards my forehead. The little silver part, I'm pulling it towards my forehead because I feel like if I pull it towards my nose or any lower, I just start using my upper back because my wrists like go down at an angle. They go like this instead of like this. So yeah, there's that, and uh, over here I'm just doing like, I, I did like 4 sets of 12, and 4 sets of 10. So yeah, here's the standard machine press. I haven't done these in a while, um, but I, I, I like them, I like them a lot. And uh, yeah, I only I did about 4 sets of those. Now, I went straight on to dips, and boy boy, do I regret doing the dips straight after. I keep messing up with dips, because my, my triceps and my chest get fatigued. So I can't perform the dips to the best of my ability. Like I know I'm stronger on the dips. So I did like 4 sets of 8 to 10 reps. Instead of 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps. Like I'm planning to like use some weight very soon. Just put it in my backpack and then just rip them out. And over here just pure isolation work. I like the cable for these lateral raises because the tension is constant. So it's always working on that specific part of the muscle. No matter where you are in the range of motion. The thing with dumbbells is that as you go down there's less and less tension. So therefore, it's like it, it, just, it doesn't it doesn't keep it that time under tension uh, on the muscle for as long as I would like. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Four sets of ten or twelve reps. Again, uh, nothing too fancy. I mean, besides leaning over to one side and just ripping it out, it's, it's lightweight as well. You can see I'm only pushing ten kilos on the thing. So yeah, man. Over here we're going to incline dumbbell presses again. I was pretty fatigued when I started doing this movement, so I was just doing like 4 sets of 8 to 10. Uh, keeping that form clean though, I mean even though I'm fatigued, I'm still going decently heavy for me. I weigh 73 kilos, so I think that's decent. Uh, yeah, and uh, don't do what I'm doing now, talking to a friend. 
I mean, it's good to be nice to people, but at the same time, stay focused. Uh, yeah, just keeping these forms clean, retract your scapula, uh, arch your lower back, and uh, nothing too difficult about that, really. I mean, you just gotta be patient with uh, the progress, because I know moving up in weight for the dumbbells, uh, with the dumbbells, is really, really difficult compared to the bar. So over here we're doing some classic machine rows, yes. There's nothing special to it. I mean, you just gotta make sure you're going through the full range of motion. No ego lifting, guys. Okay, I see so many people doing half reps and bouncing the weight at the bottom. Please do not be one of those people, okay? Trust me, you'll get so much better results. Or your results will be so much better, sorry, I can't even English. If you just um, have proper form. And over here you see me actually doing this one at a time because I got so tired that I couldn't do both. And over here, uh, I'm just doing some simple Arnold press where you pretty much, you bring it down, but then you rotate it so that it, you stretch the front delts. And then, yeah, it, it's really good. It burns a lot. I can't go heavy on these. I mean, I already did other shoulder exercises, so I was pretty fatigued. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Just make sure your upper back is, and your butt is touching the bench. You can arch your mid back. And that's gonna help you a lot. It actually, people say that it also builds your upper chest doing overhead presses. So, I mean, anything for chest gains, guys, because my chest is horrific. It is absolutely trash. So, back to some fluff work. We're just doing some flies on the, with the cables. I don't know how many reps I was doing. I was just kind of repping it out. Probably like 10 or 12 reps. Probably 12 reps. But yeah, guys, this is not going to build you a big chest. This is just for metabolic stress, which is one of the key components that you need to build some muscle. And um, yeah, I mean, making sure the form is good, getting that full stretch. Uh, yeah, keeping that, retract, uh, that retracted scapula going and it's keeping it simple. And then again, just getting a pump by doing some shrugs, uh, not, nothing too fancy again. I actually think that triceps and my, uh, yeah, I actually think my triceps and my chest are the weakest. But with that said, we're all going to improve. I mean, I'm here to improve. If you're here to join me on my journey while I'm improving, I can help you as well because I know my shit.